When people see me and they see that I have loads of tattoos, they always ask, what's your pain tolerance like? Listen, if you can take a dick up your batty, then you confirm a tattoo. A tattoo is minute compared to that. <laughs> What a guan pa, what a guan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. So I haven't done a vlog in a while, but I thought, let me do a little vlog for you lot car. You don't need to know what guan in my life, you get what I mean. I'm actually on my way to the barbers right now because you know, God and Philip has to get his weekly re-up. Guys, I don't think you lot understand how stressful it is to like trying to be consistent on Instagram because I have been trying to buy clothes, get clothes, post pictures on Instagram and look nice for y'all. But when you're six foot four, it's very hard to find clothes that actually fit you. So all of the clothes that I've ordered, all of the clothes that I've received, either the tracksuit doesn't look like the picture or the legs are come to my shin. So yeah, I'm going through it guys. But do y'all wanna see what my morning was like? I, need, I think I need to rewind and show you lot my morning first before we get into this vlog. Morning guys, I've got a towel on because you lot love to get onto me for being topless so I'm gonna spare you lot, yeah? But can you believe it has been nearly a year since I got my teeth done? And for those of you that don't know about this whole crowns and veneers journey, when you have fake teeth, you really have to look after your teeth. You can't just be out here not brushing your teeth and using these stupid toothbrushes and all this carry on and no you have to actually invest in a in a proper toothbrush and for the past year i have been buying and buying and buying toothbrushes and they have just not been up to par i'm just not happy with the quality of the brush the bristles going in between my teeth and cleaning my gums i've just not been happy with it i've got this new toothbrush this is the o clean air 2 version this is the first mute toothbrush i don't think you'll even understand one of my biggest pet peeves is my toothbrush being so damn loud every minute having to change batteries the toothbrush stopping and starting i don't have to do that no more my toothbrush came with a charger i can just hop it on the charger and it charges it within two and a half hours this lasts like a whole month and some days i don't have to regularly keep charging it there's no batteries and all that palaver let me just show you the difference between my new toothbrush and my old toothbrush i'm not even trying to name and shame but just listen to this and the bristles on the brush are thin they don't brush my teeth properly. I've only had this toothbrush for like a month and a half. Bristles on the brush is falling apart. Look at this. That's what I love. You lot can't even hear it. And when I brush my teeth, the bristles get into the gaps of my teeth and clean my teeth properly. Your teeth is not always about it looking white. Just because your teeth are white, doesn't that doesn't mean that your teeth are healthy or that your gums are healthy. You actually need to invest in a proper toothbrush. So I put the link in the description box below. These retail at around 35 pounds. So under 40 pounds. This was about 30 pounds. And I have to change the battery every five minutes and all this rubbish. No. Click the link in my bio and purchase this toothbrush and you will see a dramatic change in your teeth, in your gums. And you won't have to be buying batteries. You've got a power bank where you can just hop your toothbrush on the charger. It's been a year and I'm so happy with my teeth. My gums are not rotting away like some of you nasty gal. Yeah, I brush my teeth every blood clot day. So guys, I'm actually in the barber chair right now. I'm about to get my re-up because you don't know I have to finish the game when it comes to Instagram. I can't be looking scrappy on the gram. Um, at Maeve's Spot. For those of you that always ask me who does my trim. And um, yes, let's go. I'm back home. I've got my shape up and 
I've just literally finished recording a mix up gutter and I don't think you lot understand how nervous I get when I record mix up gutters because it's like, you know like other blog reporters or people that report on like things that have been put out to the public, yeah? They don't normally show their face so nobody can really troll them or make personal remarks and things like that but obviously when it's my face there big and fresh in front of the camera and I'm sitting down chatting people's business, yeah? People actually take this to a whole personal new level. So I really get like very anxious and nervous when I record these type of videos. There was a point where I was like, oh, like I don't want to record makes up gutters no more. I don't feel comfortable doing them. I don't like putting people's names in my title. I don't, because some people feel like it's a personal attack. I will continue to do my vlogs. I will continue to do my personal videos when I'm ready. But whenever there's a mix up gutter, I'm going to record it. I will never put my in a situation where I'm actually jeopardizing like my reputation or things like that I'm always gonna be fair and I'm always just gonna be real do you get what I mean it's actually 4 a.m. when I left the barbers yet yeah, I went to Vapiano's stuffed my face came home fell asleep woke up at like 12 o'clock my sleeping pattern is so f I'm gonna edit this video and have it ready to go out tomorrow and then let's see what the response is from this whole situation. So guys, I have just arrived at Yaz Tattoos because I'm going to be getting my neck tattooed today. I know you're almost going to be looking at me and thinking, oh my God, Gada Phillips got glasses on. Gada Phillips wears glasses. This whole time, I don't know if you lot knew, but I've always oh. worn glasses. I've always, had contact lenses in when I do my videos. When I'm filming and I'm sitting in front of a bright light, I don't want the reflection to show up on my lens, so I, I tend to wear my contact lenses instead and I only wear my glasses when I'm just chilling at home and blah, 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 but I'm, I'm still not used to them. I'm getting used to them, guys. I'm getting used to them, but yeah. I'm a bit nervous because I haven't had a tattoo done in a while, but yeah, I just want to big up the ass tattoos and I can't wait for you lot to see the finished result. It's about to be lit. You lot are going to be like, so a lot of people always ask me yeah like why i chose to like get tattoos and what was my reason for like specific tattoos so let me break it down for you let me break it down so this wing tattoo was inspired by ghost from Power. If you watch Power, Ghost has like a, a wing tattoo on his back, I think. So obviously I chose to get it on my front, but obviously this is only half of the tattoo. I want to continue the tattoo onto my back and get a bat wings because it's meant to represent a Gemini, an angel wing and a bat wing. If you know, you know, but yeah. I also got an African lady on my arm. If you can see that, that's just to represent like the black women in my family and my family is kind of dominated by women and then um, I got let go and let God but I got it in a typewriter font because for those of you that do know I'm a graphic designer so I wanted to incorporate that in there some way I got this crown just to remind myself that I'm always a G and I'm a king and then the last one is oh no and I also have a koi fish here which is a bit unfinished but and I have a wolf here the wolf is to represent that I'm an underdog. With any obstacle that comes my way, I will always rise up on top. I'm happy, I'm so happy. Guys. I saw you fell asleep so, as well. <laughs> I, I thought no, you I, fell asleep. <laughs> no, I didn't fall asleep. You know what, yeah? yeah? I was actually laying there like deep in my life. Like I'm just, you know when you're just in one place not doing anything? Yeah. Like that's how, I was just thinking about literally everything. <laughs> I was going through it. So guys, I'm back home now and oh, I don't even know how to explain what kind of headspace that I'm in. But in the last month, yeah, like so much has happened. Like things are hitting me in the face, left, right and center. And I actually don't know how to deal with it. Like I'm, I don't know what is going on, but I'm really trying to stay positive. So you lot most of you wondering why the hell would you get a big ass tattoo saying love on your neck? But Listen, the reason why I got this love tattoo, yeah, is because this year, this month, the past week, like, 
my mental health has not been 100% and I just wanted to get something positive and obviously there's a lot of people that say oh you shouldn't be drawing on your body you shouldn't be ruining your skin whatnot whatnot obviously it's each to their own obviously I'm not going to sit here and encourage people to go and get tattoos but I feel like if you're if you have like an artistic mindset and you genuinely went through a thought process in getting the tattoo then go for it do you get what I mean because I feel like a lot of people when you see tattoos you see the same repetitive tattoos like roses clocks clocks and arrows and hearts and people's names and stuff like that and that puts a negative like connotation onto like tattoos and not a lot of people actually see the art in tattoos and how beautiful and how expressive tattoos can be so yeah like i literally just got this tattoo because i'm all about love do you get what i mean i'm not even on this family dynamics beefing and plus I'm like I'm just so over it do you get what I mean I have literally no animosity left to give in my bones in my body in my brain to people like I'm just tired of it do you understand not a trying to fix myself back into my normal mode and not let things get to me as much as they are but um yeah another thing that i want to say is a lot of people keep like messaging me talking about oh um since you've come out it must be hard for you and blah 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 but what people need to understand yeah and, and i've said it, it's like it's like when people watch my videos they don't listen or they don't they don't listen they don't understand me coming out was so that people could understand the type of person that i am and and if and if you've seen things that i've done in the past it would it will maybe make you understand how why i reacted in that way but when it comes to my family, yeah, like, my family have their own issues, do you understand? My sexuality was just the icing on the cake. It wasn't nothing that was going to explode the family and people was going to go into hiding. No, that was, that is not the case. As I said in my video, there was an incident where my brother went into my personal belongings and found things that he shouldn't have been looking for and... He told my whole family. So my whole family have been known and known, but I've just never spoken about it on social media. I've experienced death. There's people that are not, they're not mentally there anymore. And it's taken a toll on me. It's, it's taken a toll on me. And I'm, re I'm trying to stay focused, but it's a bit difficult. I'm gonna lay down right now and I'm gonna woosa and I'm not even gonna worry too tough. As my intro says, Everything are gonna make sense soon. Get a bandaid and put it over the wound. But yeah, that was all for this vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the thing. And thank you lot for always checking up on me, showing me love, and just being 100 all the time. Peace, guys. What a guampa, what a guan.